Good morning, good morning, guys. Whew. This isn't a Thursday thoughts, obviously, because um, it's not Thursday, day before. Um, trying to keep track of my days now. Um, so, update on me. I don't think I did give an update, actually. Um, been a little busy. Um, first and foremost, uh, my cortisol levels. Um, for those of you that haven't watched my videos, go back and watch maybe the one or two previous videos. It should explain it. Um, well, it should be explained. It I did explain it <laughs> on uh, when to have testing done and... I guess there wasn't a thyroid blood panel done. It was my cortisol levels, and that would have been an indicator that something might have been up with my thyroid, but my cortisol levels are normal. Um, I'm just going to have to work work a little harder, move a little more to um, maintain and to bring my weight down. Um, let's see. So everything's good there. Um... I may have mentioned in my videos that I had an interview with Walmart and orientation was about two and a half days long. Um, had to get my badges, um, you know, just going through training and watching videos and it, I have my own opinions. Um, and I may use that open door policy. Um, it seems like thoughts and opinions are welcome. As long as you, I'm thinking, you know, as long as you have uh, a resolve instead of just a complaint, um, though it might not necessarily be a, like a complaint or anything, but just, you know, how maybe things could be better. Um, it just felt like being inundated with so much information that your mind kind of goes numb. And I don't want to say you stop paying attention, but maybe get easily distracted um but overall you know I felt very welcomed and management is like super nice at least at the one I'm at <laughs> um super nice they seem pretty understanding pretty reasonable people you just you gotta communicate I, I think that's the biggest thing is you got to communicate. If there's no communication, things won't get better if there's a particular situation going on. Um, I mean, that's how that's how most trouble starts is communication or lack of communication. Well, uh, miscommunication, I should say, or lack of communication to begin with. Um making sure you understand what they're telling you and also them making sure that you understand what they told you. <laughs> and that's usually, hey, anybody have any questions? That's the time to speak up. Or to speak up later, you know, before maybe there's an issue. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm happy with what I'm doing. I'm part of a stocking team. I'm a stocking team associate. Um really happy about that because it puts me in a position to where I could actually move around. I'm moving around all day. I'm on my feet, moving around, got some comfy shoes. Um, so that'll put me in a position to where, you know, maybe a lot of this weight will start to come off because I'll be on my feet again, moving around a lot more. Um, not saying that that's an excuse not to, you know, also work out after work, but once I get a certain rhythm down, then I'll incorporate that back in, um, may go back to the weights again. Um, but yeah, overall I'm, I'm happy. I'm definitely happy. Finally happy to get out there on the floor after two and a half days of, uh, orientation. Um, I know totally necessary, um, is all the information going to stick? Probably not, but it doesn't mean I can't go back and look at things and things are making a little more sense since I'm out there on the floor now. Um, I mean, I've only been out on the floor for a few hours, uh, the other day, um, I go back to work tomorrow 
and um, hopefully it'll be smooth. Um, I wasn't definitely not used to getting asked a lot of questions. Um, I probably was asked maybe at least seven questions within a five minute period. <laughs> you know, just ask them, Hey, you know, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Walmart. Do you need any help? Or if you need any help, let me know. Um, I mean, I'm used to, you know, talking to customers, uh, where I worked at, but, um, you know, a lot of times, you know, I would say good morning, good evening. Um, but before that, you know, I was like, well, you know, if they need help, they'll come to me, you know, obviously. You know, I never thought maybe to go to somebody else or maybe some people just don't know if they need help or not. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy. Uh, I believe that the Lord definitely provides and he provides things in his time. It may not exactly be the time that you you know, want that you would prefer that he would provide it exactly when you want it. And, you know, I, uh, had a lot going on since September with the loss of my job and then, um, taking care of my mom while she was in hospice and then trying to find myself again in a way. I mean, where I stand, my sea legs, I feel like I've found them and I feel confident. I feel there were a lot of times I didn't feel confident over the past few months. I felt anything but confident, competent. Um, I just, you know, opening myself up right now under a magnifying glass you know, with health issues and, you know, just being out of work, it kind of, honestly, it, it makes you feel less of a man, to be honest. It makes you feel less of a man. And, you know, I just, it's good for a man to work, you know, it's good for him to go out. It's good for people in general, you know, it's good for them to stay busy, stay busy, you know. I mean, obviously, you're going to want a day off just to recoup, not only physically, but mentally, you know. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I believe it's good for a man to work, to be busy. So that way his mind's not racing, his mind's not going to places where you don't want to go. Um, negative places. And my mind went to a lot of negative places over the past couple months. And, uh, yeah, no, I just, now it seems like, uh, the Lord is calming the waves. He's calming the storm for me. Finally, I don't know if there are any more storms right now. Um, I mean, I'm not trying to look for him either, <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm going to be frankly honest over the past couple months, there were times that I just, I feel like I was distant from the Lord and I feel like maybe everything that was going on to some degree was a test and, and some of it might've been like, Hey, don't go too far off the rails or don't, don't stray like the sheep, you know, don't stray too far from the path. Um, need to guide you back. You need to realize, you need to realize that you need me. Can't do it all on your own. And, you know, that's a good thing. It's a, it's a good thing when you hear from, when you could steer, still, even in just subtleties, hear from the Lord. And you hear, hey, don't stray too far. 
hey, still here. You know, it's to me, you could start worrying when you don't hear from the Lord, when you don't hear from the Holy Spirit, when you don't feel that nudge to go back into your prayer closet to read scripture. When you don't feel that or hear that or, or nothing, that's when you can start to worry. But, uh, I <sighs> have a few things I got to do today. I got to help out my wife's uncle. Um, well, and also help out the missus. I don't know if I'm just going along <laughs> or being the muscle or whatnot. Um, having to do, I think with stepping stones, something like that. So, but other than that, yeah, I mean, got to get some other stuff done, uh, before tomorrow. So learning to navigate and everything. So, all right, guys, that is my life update. So take care for now. And well, with Thursday's thoughts, I might be making videos, but probably not till evening time when I get off work. So, but, um, if I do any Thursday's thoughts videos, most, well, obviously most likely will be posted Thursday evenings. So, all right, guys, take care for now. Bye.